from engineering solutions and data analysis to ensuring more sustainable and ethical global supply chains. This husband and wife powerhouse are teaming up their companies, helping other businesses reassess how their information is used to become more competitive. They're part of a community of trust architects, solving one of the most challenging global problems. So, are they game changers? Let's find out. I'm Tracy Spicer. Welcome to Game Changers. Beck, congratulations. You've just been made co-CEO of BizCubed. Tell us a bit about the business and what makes it so successful. I like to refer to us as a better decisions company. What we do is we take the pain out of data and we identify efficiencies to free up your time to make better decisions. The way we do that is through creating data ecosystems that work for people. And we've built a team, a business culture, and a methodology that helps our customers achieve that. I think a lot of people would love to have the pain taken out of data. Yes. Now, you trained as a chemical engineer. You've got a master's in environmental engineering. As a leader, what's your vision for the company? Well, leaning into the robust, sustainable systems, that's our strength at building to give the value add back to our customers. Ultimately, Zach is the visionary, and my strength has always been executing that vision, making it real. So that's you know the key thing that, that we're gonna be leveraging as we go forward. Something I'm curious about is that most large companies have their own data centers or have their own technical engineering teams. How does BizCubed change that? So we think about data differently and the way we approach it. Um, so we're not here to, you know, we don't come in to sell you tech. We, are, uh, we come in to help you do better with what you have. We do that through our, our engineering methodology. We help, you know, build those data pipelines. We open up bottlenecks and we identify what's underlying any inefficiencies that are happening. So we can come in and make your data operations more sustainable reduce, you know, single point of failure. There's a lot of knowledge kept in single people within teams about how to operate things. And we help capture that, that knowledge for the long term. It's so clever. Zach, you founded BizCubed back in 2006. Where did you see a gap in the market and how do you do things differently? The big thing that we really focus on is how do we help business teams take advantage of the data ecosystem that they have more effectively? And what we're trying to help them achieve is their strategic vision, their strategic intent. And so when I saw, started the company in 2006, I'd come out of New York and running a, a, a data team in, 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 in New York. And what I saw was the opportunity to close the gap between the business teams and the technology teams in the use of data. And that's the core strength of BizCube's team our methodology, our approach to teaching people, our approach to capturing that knowledge that Beck just described. And that's sort of the through line that, that makes a, a big difference to our customers and uh, provides continuity over a, a long uh, history of, of the business. Now, as new co-CEO, how do you think that Beck, with her experience and her academic qualifications, will change the organization through her leadership? Well, fundamentally, she'll make it a lot better. Uh, so <laughs> the thing that Beck has always done uh, no matter what role she's had, is build world-class capability. We were brought to Australia uh, to, so that she could bring acetylene production plants up to international standards across the South Pacific. When she was in an environmental role, she rolled out a global carbon traceability system 10 years ago, more than 10 years ago. Uh, when she um, came back to Australia, she built a world-class incident investigation system. So she's always built these world-class systems and processes and methodologies. And what she's done since she's joined BizCubed is really lifted our systems and processes, but she'll just take that to the next level uh, in the new role. Of course, the company has grown like topsy in the past couple of years. Beck, how has that impacted things like recruitment processes? One of the things we've been really excited about is seeing that stay stable through the growth. We overhauled it a few years ago when I joined the business um, as an employee, and we really redesigned it as a culture first approach. So we really look for, you know, company values fit, you know, who, who the people are as a person, because you can build skills, but you can't change 
those fundamental um, values in a person. By leveraging that, we, you know, we've introduced uh, components to reduce bias as well. That's one of one of my passion areas. We actually found that it kept up, it kept pace with our growing customer commitments. That plus our onboarding program is probably where we've seen the, the biggest impact. I love the sound of your approach to reduce bias because we all love artificial intelligence at the moment, <laughs> but it's not all good, is it? Mm. <laughs> Yeah, you, you really need the people components in there. Yeah, and the right culture. Now, Zach, you're not leaving the business. Nope. Tell us about PIX Global and this phenomenal idea, best job title ever, of a trust architect. I am uh, leaving the day-to-day -day operations of the business, but as Beck mentioned, uh, I still sort of maintain a strategic role within the organization. But what I'm doing with that, that additional capacity is starting a company called PIX, PIX Global. And what we're doing is we're building a, a global community of trust architects. What trust architects do is they sit at the intersection of policy and commerce and people and technology and large language models, artificial intelligence, uh, to, to help uh, ensure that as we grapple with the changes that are coming with ESG and carbon reduction and, and scope three traceability, organizations have the opportunity to not just comply with uh, mandates pushed down on them, they actually have the opportunity to flip that on its head and build their communities, their value proposition, their companies, and the unique capability that they have and take that to the market in a positive way that allows them to increase their margins, increase their, their resilience, increase their understanding of their supply chains, and really sort of build out the next generation of business and community and culture uh, that takes advantage of tech uh, but doesn't get ruled by it. Would you say it's helping companies get on the front foot at the intersection of ethics and business? Yes, not just ethics and business, but it gives businesses the tools to keep the promises they're already making. We see this in, in lots of different industries where the what's printed in the annual report doesn't quite translate to reality. And that causes massive disruption to their share price when they get when when people find out, because people do. And it also causes quite a lot of disruption internally to their internal culture. Because if you've been in the marketplace promising that you're doing amazing things and then you get caught doing something wrong, and oftentimes it's one out of a hundred or one out of a thousand, just a little pocket of the organization making a mistake that undermines huge amounts of people's work and intent and, and sort of building, building the capability to really uh, take control of that and, and manage that effectively is, is really what we're focused on. One thing that's coming across loud and clear with both of your companies and the work that you do for other businesses is getting the culture right from the get-go. Beck, how do you see the synergy between these two companies ongoing? One of our strengths has been about building those sustainable, robust um, processes that customers can have confidence in their data. One of the, you know, kind of logical next steps would be turning, you know, leveraging those strengths into supporting building data uh, trust architecture. All right. What's next for this dynamic duo? Zach? <laughs> Just maturing um, the, the, the companies and the families and the communities and cultures that we're, we're in and, and, and just building on uh, the strength that we've built and helping uh, the people in those ecosystems do, do a little bit better each day. Like I said, I've, I've got a passion, you know, for building systems that work for people and, and supporting that. So I really am looking forward to having the capacity to really work with our teams to grow with the company, um, to develop their leadership and to, yeah, keep, keep BizCube's culture thriving. Congratulations, you are both game changers. And is it fair to say you're creating game changers within the organisations that you're working with? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Um, so we're, you know, we, we're game changing for our team, you know, with a lot of the different ways of working that, that we've um, built in our culture. And we're activating game changers within our customers' organisations. So when we've done that uh, most effectively, those uh, game changers within, within our customers have been promoted um, because they've been able to have that strategic work, the, the time freed up to do that strategic work and accelerate into their goals. Well, that is brilliant. Thank you both so much for your time. Thanks, Tracy.